Welcome back. How would you like to look and feel younger? A lot of us probably that sounds pretty good. And earlier this week on the Dr. Oz show, he shared some anti-aging tips. And today we're checking in with a local expert on anti-aging. We're pleased to welcome Dr. Paul Hester with B-MediSpa to tell us some things that really may not be as hard as you think that you can do to be healthy and feel younger as well. Thank you for being with us, Dr. Hester. Well, it's great to be here. I know it's Halloween, but most of us want to go buy a costume and not have scary looking skin. <laughs> so what I want to go over today is some really simple tips that in the next 10 days can really change the appearance of your skin. And I've even put it into um, a pretty easy thing to remember. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go through them and they're going to spell out GLOW, G-L-O-W. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have some great food choices. You're going to have to go into your pantry and you're going to have to take some things out. The things I want you to take out are going to be uh, the high sugar stuff, breads, crackers, pastas, rice, all those things that are, that are really not good for our organs, including our skin. The thing I want you to get in your refrigerator uh, for great skin is some really good fats like avocados, some really good fiber like legumes, and some uh, really good proteins like soy. So out with some, in with the good stuff. The next thing we're going to do, the L, is going to load up on omega-3s. We just don't get enough of essential fatty acids in our diet, so using some type of a fish oil, uh, especially a cold water fish like salmon, is a great way to get those essential fatty acids. If you're a vegetarian, you can use something like uh, flaxseed oil. Mm -hmm. So you've got good, good essential fatty acids that are going to help to hydrate your skin. On top of that, you've got to drink lots of water, so at least eight glasses of eight ounces. So just remember eight and eight. Then we're going to have to get get the old skin off. And the way we do that is we exfoliate. Now I know a lot of people see over the counter there's things you can buy that feel like gravel <laughs> on your face. Sandpaper. We, yeah, we don't want <laughs> you to use those. Those really cause inflammation in the skin and can do more damage than good. But there are some, some good ways to exfoliate by using chemical peels, which uh, are really uh, fruit acids, or having a microdermabrasion, uh, which should be done in a physician's office, or um, there are some over-the-counter uh, products that can, that can um, help you. Um, and the last thing we, we worry about with our skin is wrinkles. Mm -hmm. So wrinkle recovery is very important. Now the first thing, of course, is to use a good sunscreen. At least an SPF of 15. We like something that has mixoral in it because that's going to help to um, uh, keep away the aging rays of the sun. Um, the other things we, we do, which I brought a few pictures of, uh, they can really turn around things in just a few days or even a few minutes are injectables. Uh, so this first picture here is a patient who uh, wanted to uh, add some volume back to the lower portion of their face and you can see that within 20 minutes of using a product called hyaluronic acid we were able to uh, give her the um, uh, result that she, she wanted. Great. Well, that's some wonderful advice. And Dr. Hester is going to be checking in, back in with us. He's going to be our go-to guy for all things anti-aging to help all of us stay younger. We'll be back with one more check of your forecast.